hello everyone welcome to tech widen and today we will see the entire process of transforming an aws s3 bucket into a static website so whether you are a beginner or exploring aws or a seasoned developer looking to host a simple website so this video gonna help you so first of all let's understand what is static website so it's a kind of a collection of web pages which we want to display on internet to our consumer client or management or to the public and exploring and uh, educating about our product and services and it can be used in so many ways like to sell out the product uh, to providing the information or to maintaining the data uh, and there are so many uses so when we enable our uh, static website hosting it means we are essentially telling aws to treat our bucket as a web server and serving up our website content to anyone who visit its url so to make our website truly accessible to the world we need to configure a bucket policy that grant public access which we already done in our previous video right so let us see how can we make it so let's go to our ec2 dashboard click on s3 we have one bucket already that is tech widen s3 which we used in our previous two videos click on it and you can see tech widen 3 is publicly accessible because we have provided required bucket policy authorization and make the bucket publicly accessible now let's go to its properties at this time i want to show you how can we make our bucket in a static website so way down in the properties there is an option to make the bucket into the static website so currently it is disabled just click on edit click on enable now there is a free option like what type of hosting we require so first one is like host static website or redirect request from an object so by default hosting static website is selected now in the index document we have to specify the home page of our website so let me put our home page that is index.html because i already create the home page and save it as a index.html so just put the name over there error document and redirection rules are optional so i'm not going to touch it and click on save changes now go to the object right now we have only two files that is car.jpg and training.jpg and a folder name tech images but we do not have any index html file those who are developer could understand what is exactly the html page so an html page is nothing but a page which is designed for your website for example home page any service page any feature page or any other web pages so we can design the web page in html language i'm not going to start a new topic on html but for understanding we must know what exactly a web page is click on upload then add files and add your index page now again go to the properties this time this time we have a link of our website in the option of static website hosting so just copy it and paste it on any browser here you can see our website is working perfectly there is a heading there is a image and all those things are there which i put on my index file for practice you can create dummy index.html codes with the help of chat gpt and edit it according to your requirement you can say this is our domain name of our website we can eventually change it with the help of root 53 but uh, root 53 is another topic and we will discuss it later now go back to the bucket and you can see the images which shown in the website is car.jpg is there so this is the short and simple video how to make our bucket into a static website and you can practice it by uploading more and more images contents and file and don't forget to provide all kind of permission to the bucket and accessing our website whether you are showcasing a portfolio or sharing our thoughts, this method offers a cost-effective and efficient way to get your content online. So that's it from today. And thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. See you in the next video. Thank you.